Hello guys and welcome. Uh, it's been a long time since I've again done any video. So I hope to make it up this time. Uh, so what we are going to see today is how to take a screenshot on some other computer and uh, transfer it to my own computer. So I'll actually spy on someone else, right? Uh, so how to do it? Uh, well, we need to uh, transfer a screenshot uh, from one computer to another, right? Uh, we are going to use uh, TCP protocol, TCP client and TCP server. Why? Because uh, TCP client will send a request, for example, give me picture and the server will uh, process that request. It will take a screenshot and send uh, a picture to the client. So how does this work? Well, let's start from the very beginning. Uh, this uh, uh, method, screen capture, will uh, take a screenshot of a screen. Uh, how does it work? Well, we have a rectangle here that will define what are uh, what is the region that we want to uh, screen capture. And once it is uh, captured, it will be saved into a bitmap object. Okay, so you can actually uh, use JPEG if you want, but for this example, I choose bitmap. And uh, well, this is the part where we actually take a screenshot. So from uh, zero zero angle uh, to width and height. Okay, and we return the bitmap. So Practically, you don't need to uh, uh, bother with this function. You just simply remember it takes a screenshot. Okay. What happens? Uh, we need to know uh, which computer do we want to take a screenshot from. Uh, well, this is a loopback, loopback IP address. So in this case, we will take a screenshot from uh, this very machine. But I have here a virtual machine, and we'll use it to take a screenshot of this virtual machine. Uh, how to do it? When? Well, I click this button. Uh, the, the question is uh, how, to, uh, how to transfer an image, a bitmap. Well, bitmap is nothing else than a, a stream of bytes, and therefore we need to create a memory stream. I called it a picture, or slick up, uh, in my native language, which is creation. And uh, so what I did was uh, I set my host, uh, computer that I want to take screenshot from, I try to connect and I send uh, number one. Why I send, why did I send a number one? Well, uh, somehow I need to uh, specify what request am I talking about. Uh, server must know what do I actually want. So I send ID of my request. So when I send number one, server knows that I want to uh, that I want him to send me a picture of a screen. If I send number two, he will know that that is something else. Okay. So uh, first of all, I send my uh, ID of my request. Okay. And now I need to uh, wait for server to respond. Uh, so he will send me a picture as a stream memory stream. So first I need to uh, read what is the length of this uh, stream and then then I read the stream itself and once after I read the stream I disconnect from the server and that's pretty much it. Then I save the uh, stream as a file, as a bitmap file and uh, simply open it with a registered editor. Okay, so this is what a client does. It connects to host, sends ID of a request, and then waits stream length and stream itself. Then saves stream to a file and opens it. What does server? Uh, well, server uh, actually needs to take a screenshot and he needs to save it somewhere. We said that this uh, method here will take a screenshot, but its returning value is nothing else but a bitmap object. Okay, so we need to have some bitmap object created 
where we can save our uh, bitmap. So this is uh, that object. I use the SDL here because it is more convenient, but you cannot actually use SDL when working, uh, when you have some stream operations. Well, let's not go into details too much, you will discover it on your own. So uh, this line will help us to create a bitmap object where we will, where we will save our uh, screenshot. Then we need to uh, convert that bitmap into a memory stream. Why? To be able to send it to another computer. So, first things first. When a client sends ID uh, of a request, server uh, reads that uh, ID. And if he says now, if ID is 1, then take a screenshot save that screenshot into a stream, what stream? This stream here, and send a stream size, client read, uh, reads the uh, stream size, send the stream itself, client reads the stream itself, and then simply deallocate the stream and disconnect the client. So how does it work? Well, uh, I've let's just try it. So, if I run this application, I have it already here in this uh, virtual machine. So, I run my config, and my IP address is this. So, let's now I'm at my Windows Seven, and I will simply type in this IP address. Okay, so I'll put it back, take a picture, and voila. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this application uh, currently from Windows 7 has uh, take, uh, taken a screenshot from another computer and delivered it uh, to my computer via network. And that is what I wanted to show you today. So basically, uh, it is very simple. You need to take a screenshot, and that is by using this method, uh, client sends ID, and simply waits for server to send a picture, right? And that is nothing else but memory stream, which we will save as a bitmap file. Okay, so this was kind of quick. I hope you liked it, and well, if you have any questions, please be free to ask. Thank you for watching.